I have my own story. Um, I've never shared it with anyone, but hearing a very personal story from someone today actually made me change what I was going to talk about completely and to share my story because it really pulled at my heartstrings and I, I, don't, I don't see why I shouldn't share my story to, to possibly pull at someone else's heartstrings. You know, 10 years ago, I, we were going through a lot, my family and I, we'd lost everything, basically. Lost our restaurant, lost our home. We lost, or almost lost our home. Um, and I felt like a burden to everyone. I just lost my girlfriend at the time. Um, of course, you know, when you're in high school, that's a big deal. I had contemplated taking my life. Uh, I'd even uh, wrote the note and was about to do it. And luckily the minister caught me. I, I, I remember what it was like to be hopeless. I remember what it was like to feel alone and, and, and beside yourself. Because um, during my struggle, I, there was people there for me everywhere, everywhere. And I, I was so consumed in my own um, in my own self and, and everything that was going on in my struggle. And I let, the, I let that struggle overcome me. I let it have that power over me. Um, something that's not even human and something that's not even, it's, it's a feeling. I let a feeling totally take hold of my body. Um, I did, you know, check into a behavior health and I, I got help then, which was really hard for me. I, I needed that help, I needed to be there, I needed to see someone, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I think as I got older, or as I get older, and as I've learned, it doesn't make me a weak person, as I thought then, for seeking help. But I think the most valuable thing that I may have learned while I was there um, was that I wasn't alone. I wasn't secluded like I thought. My mind was playing a trick on me. My thoughts were playing a trick on me. I was never alone to begin with. You know, I've heard jokes be made about men mental health issues and, and about suicide and, and, and seeking help and jokes about those hospitals. Um, and it's, it's, it's not good. It, it's real demoralizing more than anything it, to have someone joke about it. I've had individuals confide in me um, with similar issues and struggles. And because of my experience, I knew kind of what to say um, a little bit. I knew kind of what to do. I'm lucky for what I went through 10 years ago because it helped me be a better person and it gave me that personal growth that I need. I'm about to have a fiance. Um, you know, we're gonna get married probably within the next year or two. I wouldn't have that if it wasn't for me seeking help. You know, vent to someone, don't bottle it up. Always be there for someone, you know, we're all in this together. That's my biggest thing is, you know, we're all in this together. We all need to, to encourage each other to, to reach out and to seek help more.